OK, so parametric equations are governed by this parameter t. OK, and what I want to do in this video is to really kind of highlight the difference between parametric equations and Cartesian equations, so the ones you're really used to. So when I'm talking about Cartesian equations, I'm thinking of things like y equals x squared or y equals e to the x, or x plus y equals 3, or y equals sine x, or x equals uh, tan y, for example, or um, x squared e to the x plus y squared um, e to the y minus 3 equals 0. OK? So, Goodness knows what that looks like. Um, and the point is that these are all self-contained single equations. OK? Where you have these two variables, x and y, within that single equation. Now, for parametric, I'm just saying, well, actually, we could have um, x equals t y equals t, and there is a pair of parametric equations, OK? Now, we don't have to use t as the parameter. We could have x equals sine theta and y equals cos theta, OK? Or x equals e to the t minus 3t, y equals um, 4t squared minus sine t, OK? So what you have is a situation where you've got these two separate equations with a given parameter, OK, which could, in some instances, in some contexts, represent time, or it could, in this case, represent an angle, OK? doesn't matter. They work in exactly the same way. But you have the, a number of equations to suit the number of dimensions that you're considering. So if we were considering um, a line or a, uh, a path of a point as it moved through space, OK, then we would have to have three parametric equations to define how it's moving in the x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis. OK, so we could move it to 3D, whereas the Cartesian is fixed um, with having this single equation, and so isn't as adaptable, OK? Um, so in a lot of cases, parametric equations can trump Cartesian equations, and although they can be a little bit fiddly to work with, um, but it's just a natural extension of being able to move more freely in two dimensions rather than constrained to something that cannot cross itself or behave in interesting ways.